At the end of January, Amsterdam Symphony is going to be touring Europe with Thomas Hamilton and we will perform 12 concerts in six countries and we're all looking forward to it tremendously. The first time we worked with Thomas Hamilton was almost 15 years ago and I remember it very well. We performed Mahler's Wunderhorn songs and we all felt an immediate chemistry together with Thomas and it led to several wonderful collaborations with him over the past years. Working with the Amsterdam Sinfonietta, it's especially easy and a pleasure because they're so used to working without a conductor and they're so used to working with soloists and they love singers. This is an incredibly exciting program. It's all centered around poems and texts. And the opening work, which is only instrumental, is based also on a poem. And we start with uh, Schoenberg's Verklärte Nacht, which is uh, a poem by Richard Demel. And it's a beautifully imaginative piece, unraveling all possible shades and colors of a string orchestra. And it's a story of two lovers strolling through a cold wood, uh, lit by the moon and uh, silvery stars. Um, it's an incredibly emotional journey for the orchestra as well as the audience. We continue with music by Johannes Brahms. We've commissioned the English composer David Matthews to arrange the last songs that Brahms wrote, uh, the four serious songs. These incredible dark songs are set to biblical texts and they can be seen as Brahms's last musical testament. The idea of redoing or commissioning a new commission of these four last songs, the four serious songs by Brahms, I think is very exciting because it is for a string group. It's not as it's not as as, as heavily laced with horns and winds as, as a lot of orchestrations are of Brahms. And we'll get to the essence of these songs. After the intermission, we'll perform Samuel Barber's Dober Beach for the first time ever in a version for string orchestra and baritone. This is a beautiful melancholic poem written by Matthew Arnold and it describes the ebb and flow of the sea by night um, at Dover Beach on the coast of England. It is a deeply metaphoric poem uh, in the sense that images of sea and images of life and even the sound of life and the sound of pebbles, the sound of water gives us a, a flow of time. There's a great deal of melancholy and reflection of times gone by and yet the sameness of human uh, context or the human emotion, the human motivations. Hugo Wolf's Italian Serenade for Strings will serve as an interlude before a collection of songs by Hugo Wolf and Franz Schubert. These songs were originally written for voice and piano, but we will perform them in a new arrangement for voice and string orchestra, again arranged by David Matthews for us. The idea behind it is to keep the intimacy of chamber music, but at the same time open up this wonderful repertoire for a wider audience. It is always about the song. It's always about the song as, an, as a display, as an expression of life, of human experience. And so however we try and, and, and do that in the arrangements, um, it, it is always about illuminating the inside of the personal experience. And I find that a, a really wonderful musical adventure. <laughs>